Hello everyone, welcome to today's current affairs session of Civilspedia. The topics we are going to see is Kelo India, Pravesi Bharatiya Divas, Flamingo Festival and SDG India Index Baseline Report of 2018. And with respect to editorial topics is Niti Ayog Strategy for New India 2022. The first one, Kelo India Youth Games. These are national level games that held annually for the category of under 17 and under 21. This Youth Games has been conducted by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. This year it was hosted by Maharashtra and Maharashtra leads the medals tally in this Kelo India Youth Games. And this Kelo India Youth Games is mainly for promote the sports culture at the grassroots level. Every year thousand kids will be selected under this Kelo India Youth Games so that they will get a scholarship for 5 lakh rupees for the 8 years to prepare for the international level sports events. It was established in 2018. So for the past two years, this year, Kelo India Youth Games has been conducted. And the major objective of this Kelo India Youth Game is to promote the sports culture. And apart from that, it is to promote the rural games as well as the tribal games, as well as to promote the sports among the female, and to promote the sports among persons with disability, and to make ensure the fitness levels of the school children up to a mark level. Because Indian youth has been demarked for his under privilege level of obsolete and so many problems has been occurred with this Indian children. So this Kelo India Youth Games has been targeted to have a physical fitness awareness about from this youth level. And the next topic is Pravesi Bharatiya Divas. This Pravesi Bharatiya Divas is conducted on 9th January of every year to commemorate the return of Gandhi to India in, 12, in 1915 to participate in the Indian freedom struggle. And this was started by this celebration of this Pravesi Bharatiya Divas was started in 2003 by Ministry of External Affairs. Every year, Pravesi Bharatiya Samman Award will be given to honor the person of in overseas Indian citizen who are contributing for the development of India. This year, this festival has been inaugurated in Varanasi. And next topic is Flamingo Festival. This three-day Flamingo Festival has been observed in Andhra Pradesh at Pulikat Lake and Nelapattu Bird Sanctuary. For the past 13 years, this festival has been conducted. The major objective of the festival is to promote tourism as well as to ensure uh, awareness about this environment conservation among the people. This Pulikat Lake, which is second largest brackish water in India, is one of the important places for this migratory species to get breeding. And recently, there was a severe decline in this number of migratory species coming to Pulikat Lake and Nelapattu Bird Sanctuary in Andhra Pradesh. So the reason major for this decline, continuous decline of numbers of this migratory species is this kite festival. The celebrating kite festival in Magar Sankranti uh, will lead to a death trap for the birds as well as the low water level and the low algal level and the very much low level of fish diversity and the benthic that is low level deep sea level, deep water diversity is very low. That makes the number of species of migratory species coming to India get reducing continuously. And apart from that, what other festival that has been observed in India is Felicon festival that is observed at Atabaka Bird Sanctuary in Kolleru Lake. This Kolleru is one of the largest freshwater lake in India. And apart from that, there was a Chilika Bird Festival. This Chilika Bird Festival has been conducted in Odisha. And the major important thing with respect to this bird festival is, in this festival, the Odisha government has focused to turn this poachers, that is bird poachers, into a bird protectors as well as the echo guides. So that they will get an alternative employment and thereby they become a part of the solution of this problem. Because this poaching is one of the major things that is declining the number of bird species coming to India. So by having transforming this poachers into a bird protectors as well as echo guides, they will get an another alternative opportunity of livelihood so that they will stop poaching these birds. And the next topic is Sustainable Development Goal India Index of Baseline Report 2018. This report has been prepared by Niti Ayok in partnership with Global Green Growth Institute and UN. This report is mainly to focus on how each and every state and union territories are undergoing a process to achieve the sustainable development goals and what are the commitments they have properly achieving to commit this to achieve the commitment of sustainable development goals. That 17 sustainable development goals, each and every state, what are the steps they are taking to compare and contrast and which state is performing very well and which state is lagging very much to analyze for interstate analysis this sustainable development index has been prepared by this niti ayog in this report their 2018 report they have said that this among the working age population of 15 to 59 years 64 out of 1000 people are unemployed 
and this unemployment rate is very severe among women and youth this is one of the dangerous thing because india is a demographic dividend country and by having a more unemployment rate among youth and women it shows that there will be a negative economic growth in future apart from that the sustainable development goal of 8 that shows focuses on productive employment and economic growth shows that we will have only this proper economic growth if we have productive employment if the unemployment rate is started to increase at an alarming level then we don't we will not have a sustainable economic growth and apart from this international labor organization report has said that 27.5 percentage of indian population will not come under any category of education employment and training and this women is the major category under this uh, not coming under this education employment and training because most of the women are come under the housewife category and child rearing is the main objective of the women so they are not coming under this any they are not participating in any education or employment or training facilities so if uh, women started to have very low enrollment rate in secondary and higher education level this will have a consequent impact on the employment and thereby have impact on this skill training this will lead to uh, in future this will lead to a lower level of efficacy in this schemes like beti bacho beti padao and sukanya samriddhi yojana so in future we will have a proper in, uh, output from the scheme means we need to have focus on what are the things that is hurdling women and youth to get an employment opportunity and this report has said that this himachal pradesh and kerala has topped this uh, india's overall rank of this employment and apart from this in india index the sustainable development goal index kerala and himachal pradesh has have a score of 69 while chandigarh will have the tops in this union territories with score of a 68 and this index value that is a sustainable development goal index value ranges from 0 to 100 if you are moving towards the 68 69 means that uh, state or union territory is performing very well that is they are flowing going very closer to this achievement of sustainable development goals and what are the advantage of having this index that is sustainable development goal india index baseline report says it is a very it gives a transparency of each and every state how they are responding to this sustainable development goals action plan and apart from this it, this report is very accessible to all and they have very less jargons that is it is very common people can also easily understand by reading this report that shows it is very accessible to non specialist people also but the negative things with respect to this report is first thing is this report has failed to focus on sustainable development goal 13 that is how each and every states will take an action to combat climate change the second negative things in this index report is sustainable development goal 11 will have a sustainable cities urban cities but among the seven targets this has been targeting only two targets and with respect to this education goal also gender equality goals also only one out of seven targets has been focused by this index and apart from that this report has failed to address this needs of empowering how each and every states and union territories are working towards empowering the poor as well as reducing the disparities and the next topic is strategy for new india 2022 this has been released by niti Aayog in 2018 the major objective of releasing a strategy for new india that is 75th independence day celebration we are going to have in 2022 what are the things we need to achieve the, within that 2022 they have put a strategy so major objective is to achieve union united nations sustainable development goal and with focus majorly they have focused on gender equality farmers issues like doubling of farmers income and sustainable environment with respect to alternative uh, livelihood so among these things this editorial topic has been focused particularly on what are the things that the sustainable environment related to sustainable environment what this strategy has missed or what are the things they have focused properly that analysis we will do first thing is what are the positive things that this strategy for new india report has said with respect to sustainable environment what is to have a sustainable environment is they have focused very well on renewable energy organic farming forest cover how to increase the forest cover and how to reduce this pollution as well as this handling the solid waste management and this report has give a proper example that is positive example of zero based natural farming model with an example from a maharashtra farmer and apart from things what are the things that is missing in this uh, new strategy for new india is they uh, they didn't focus on this non forest ecosystem because the conserving the non forest ecosystem is one of the important thing but we have since the colonial period we have only forest department we don't have any exclusive department or single entity for grassland coastal or marine wetland and mountain and desert conservation so we lack a proper ecosystem or for proper 
management for non forest ecosystem so first thing we have to focus on that but this strategy for new india fails to focus on this non forest ecosystem and second important thing is this report this strategy have failed to notice about the increasing alarming level of toxic chemical that is present in india and third thing is this report has failed to address this land degradation issues soil erosion as well as water conservation because by addressing for having proper sustainable environment we need to address this land degradation soil conservation that is ultimate thing and apart from that this strategy for new india has said that doubling the mining so if we started to double the mining then it will going to have a negative impact on the environment and especially we are going to focusing on more on open cast type of mining this will lead to have a serious negative impact on the environment and apart from that this report strategy has still to enhance or double this domestic tourist from 1.6 million in 2016 to 3.2 million if we started to have just increase this domestic tourist then it will going to have negative impact on the environment we have to have proper eco tourism rather than just having a increasing the domestic tourist will not give any positive feedback to the environment so we need to have proper ecosystem tourism but the ecosystem is not properly handled in this tourism management and apart from that this organic farming this report has dealt with organic farming but they fail to say in what direction or how the farmers has to face out this chemical fertilizers and pesticide so that they will focus on this organic farming and apart from that this report this strategy has said to replace this old varieties of seeds with hybrid things this is going against this uh, nature of organic farming and apart from that this strategy of new india has failed to address dry land farming because india is one of the thing that has facing a uh, rainfall shortage and most of the areas are rain fed areas agriculture so this dry land farming is one of the huge farmers french farmers are based on this dry land farming but not addressing this dry land farming will leads most of the farmers is out of the category of this strategy for new india and apart from this there was no proper positive examples like for the organic farming that has given in this report for example there was a positive example of lower caste women from the deccan development society in telangana have made a remarkable achievement in productive sustainable biodiversity with respect to millet and this will shows how women can be fulcrum in this productive management of agriculture and apart from this environmental impact assessment the number of days has been limited to 180 days while to have a proper environmental impact assessment we need to have a one year so by reducing the number of days to 180 days it may lead to hariburiness that will give how this properly this project will affect the environment that cannot be studied under in depth manner and apart from that this report strategy has said to have a single window clearance for infrastructure projects this will give reduce the rights of the local community on the say on the decision making of a infrastructure projects this will lead to having a negative impact on the environment because local community people are one of the forerunners to have a protecting this environment if we started to neglect this local community people decision in this infrastructure projects then it will going to lead a negative impact on the environment and having a lesser number of days for economic um, uh, ecological impact assessment as well as having a sing, single window clearance will lead to have a severe negative impact on this environment and apart from that if we not properly following the environmental standard safeguards properly then it surely going to have a negative impact on the environment and thereby we will hoy, we will not have a proper sustainable economic growth so to have a proper sustainable economic growth we have to focus on this environmental safeguards and apart from that in 2008 cia has said that the report has said that india is utilizing twice of its natural resources to sustain its economic growth so for having a sustainable economic growth we are already depleting our natural resources at twice level and apart from that we have utilized more than half of our bio capacity has been eroded that shows we are negatively seriously putting a very negative impact on this environment by having very negative impact on this environment we cannot have a double digit economic growth in future or we cannot have achieved this doubling the farmers income so by properly addressing this environmental issues we cannot achieve this doubling the farmers income or any other economic target we are facing going to achieve in this 2022 with that thing we will end today's current affairs session thank you share and comment on this channel